All right, I know I haven't really shown this rig on the channel much yet, but this is my international service truck. More on that later. And this is my Trailmaster 15 ton on the deck trailer. It's rated at 36 or 37,000 gross vehicle weight rating. So that basically means you can put 30,000 pounds on the deck. So we're gonna take the green truck and we're gonna leave the service truck and trailer there and then I'll use the green truck back and forth as I'm getting this thing running because the cost of diesel is so high right now that it'd be nice to only drive this truck when I need to move the machines. Plus it'll allow me to have the service truck there in case I need the crane or any of the other pieces. So, or the winch. For now, let's get it chained down, get out of here. All right, welcome back, day two. So I spent a little bit of time and I moved the tires that were in the corner and there was a cabinet, that one. Got them out of the way, so now I can actually back further in and kind of walk around where the truck was. There was a pile of garbage and moved that. But yeah, I think what I'm gonna start with before I pull the truck in is I brought my little blower. I'm gonna try and blow off a bunch of dust. Um, I'm getting covered in it no matter what I do here, so. Figured I'd leave the truck over there until I get it de-dusted. So, yeah, let's get right into it. We're gonna try and get the pony motor going, and obviously our issue was spark. So, this is the magneto right here, and it is basically, it basically creates electricity by turning a gear, and it's not a distributor, but it's what gives old motors like this spark. So, there should be two plug wires, one here, one here and then there's four screwdriver four flat heads and we'll be able to take this cover off we'll get that cover off and we'll take a look at the points Here we go. Well, those brushes on that cap look amazing. Definitely almost no wear on them. All right, there's a little uh, rotor button here. And we might uh, wire brush that a little bit. Right here are our points. And they don't look too bad. So I think what I'm going to do 
I'm going to get some uh, sandpaper or something and we're going to run it through the points, sand them a little bit, and go from there. Let's try that. All right, I took off this little uh, cover for spark plug. We're gonna pull the spark plug out and see how it looks. It's dirty and sooty. It's a pretty big gap too. Let's gap it. Professionally done. All right, I'm gonna hit this with the wire wheel. Then we're gonna plug it into this wire and arc it against something metal here and try and see if it will spark. That's what we really want. All right, I need you to watch right here and let's find out if we've got spark. second it's like intermittent I wonder if it's not making a good ground let's wire brush this a little bit everything's painted not used to this All right, now you gotta watch right there. I couldn't see it. All right, we're on the other side. Let's look right here for spark. Nothing. There we go. No ground, we weren't making a ground. That's good, strong spark too. See, look right there. All right, sweet. So we've got spark. Let's pop these plugs back in there. Actually, before we do that, Let's uh, throw a little oil in there. A little oil. A little ether. Little spark plug. All right, so because I have to sit on it, I took some time, I wiped the seat cushion clean the armrest clean the one that's here anyway and yeah better than nothing all right let's let's try this see if we can here let's take this cover off the pony motors exhaust got some oil and starting fluid in each cylinder All right, here goes nothing. Huh. It seems to actually want to start when this thing is on off. So this switch is on, it doesn't want to start, but I take it over to off, and it popped. Interesting. I've got this thing set to on now, we'll see if it fires up, uh, I don't know, maybe it's wired wrong. 
but here we go. Nothing. Now I'm going to go back to off. It must be wired wrong. It has to be. There we go. Awesome. Well, it came back to life. So, at this point from here, now that I know it's gonna run, and we've got spark, we need fuel. So, the, I think the plan is I'm gonna either one, take the tank off, drain it, hook up some other kind of tank, or maybe we'll just open up, see what kind of fuel is in it. I know that's a terrible idea, but I'm, the, the point is to get this thing started. I mean, it's not to maintain it or do everything perfectly, it's to get it going so we can get it out of here. So, the fuel tank does look nasty. I don't know. We'll go from there, figure out fuel, and then, then we'll, uh, this baby's gonna run. All right, so I got the fuel opened up and then down there drained into that pan. So the goal was to empty out the fuel tank. It looks rough in there. Can't really show you that well, but. And then basically put some gas in and try it. All right, I got the tank loose. Just pull it out. There we go. All right, this is the fuel tank for the pony motor. I drained most of it out already, but let's see what's left. Oh, oh yeah, that's nasty. Huh. Well, there's a fuel tank underneath all that gunk. I think the, the oil that's all over it probably saved it from rotting out. I'm not even sure how all this, this gunk got in the tank. It was mostly full of fuel. All right, I'm gonna try and flush this tank out a bit. Got water right here. I think we need rocks. I'm gonna go get some rocks. I'm gonna borrow some of their driveway. That should do it. All right, we're gonna put the drain plug back in.
check this out. This is a really good thing to have discovered. So I've got probably half a tank of water in there just because I'm still cleaning it. I thought it was all blocked up, but it's not. The vent on the cap is plugged up somehow. So I gotta figure out how that works. And then worst case scenario, I run it with no cap to get started, but it's coming out clean water. It's not dirty anymore. I'm gonna drain all the rest of the water out. Sit it out in the sun, let it dry. And then call it good enough for now. This is the sediment bowl slash fuel shutoff for the pony motor. And the way it works is you screw this in all the way until it seats. That shuts off fuel down to this sediment bowl and then onto the carburetor. So basically fuel stops right here. This is your fuel inlet. And so I want I took it off, want to make sure I'm getting fuel from the tank here down into the sediment bowl and then back out to the line that goes to the pony motor itself. So I've got carburetor cleaner in there, just kind of one of the, there's a bunch of junk in the bottom of this sediment bowl. So we'll clean that out. And if I tip it this way, we should have that carburetor cleaner, brake cleaner run out of it. So that side's free. Now if I stick this straw in here, And watch the line fill up. Well, gotta turn the fuel back on. Now it should fill up the bowl. Just like that. So, I'm gonna take this, wire brush it, clean it up a little bit, and then we'll throw it back on. All right, first mishap this is the fuel line that goes from the tank to that uh, water separator bowl, sediment bowl, broke. I don't have any more hard line. So I think we're gonna run just a piece of flexible fuel line. I do have a chunk of that. So we'll cut this about here and get a hose clamp on there, hose clamp on here. And at least this will give us uh, let me run it at least.
Okay. That will work. I took the gasket out of the fuel cap for now. Pretty sure that there's a brass valve here that's just gotten like maybe peened over or just whatever, so it's not gonna vent. But we're gonna put um, 93 octane, ethanol free, mixed gas in this so that it'll have some oil in the fuel. All it's gonna do is cause it to smoke a little bit more, which is fine. All right, right here's the fuel water separator. Currently the fuel's off. Turn this knob, there we go. Got fuel, so I'm just gonna shut that off for now. I'm gonna check for leaks, and you can see it's slightly tinted blue. That's because it's mixed gas. It's got the two-stroke oil in it. So it will smoke more than it probably should, but I really don't care. I'd rather have the top-end lubricant. So I'm gonna look for leaks, then we're gonna turn the fuel on all the way and give her all the way. Remember I said I was gonna check for leaks? It's leaking right at the base of this. Let's see if I can tighten that up any. The gasket on this fuel water separator is uh, pretty bad. Yeah, it's not gonna hold. All right, Let's see if I can shut this off. Maybe I've got an O-ring that might fit. All right, grabbed an O-ring out of my kit. Find out if that'll seal. All right, it's tight. Let's open up the fuel again. All right, so I have tried my best to get the fuel bowl, sediment bowl to seal. I need to figure out what kind of an O-ring this is and get it, or just bring my stash of different stuff, find something. Tried cutting some gaskets out of gasket paper, still won't seal. So I still wanna try it. So what we're gonna do, I've got the battery hooked up. We're just gonna try and get it to fire on ether um, and for more than a second. Let's give it a shot. sound good. All right. Take two. Yes. Oh, she's a runner. Okay, well, progress is hard going on this beast, but that motor is gonna run. We've now got spark, it fired, and I just have to get fuel to the carburetor and possibly pull the carb and take a gander in there. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to, but with old red I had to, so if I have to, I'll have to. So. The next thing we're gonna do is we obviously we gotta get the pony motor running. And then once that's going, we'll get on to the diesel. But what are your thoughts, you know? That inside of that Magneto looked great for as old as it is and as long as it's been sitting. So, and we've got great spark. The fuel tank's now clean. The fuel line is fixed-ish. And now we just got to get fuel to the magnet or to the carburetor. So stay tuned. We'll be on that next.